Good morning, staff and students. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. It is Friday, April 29th here on Port Center, Port Jervis Middle School. Super excited, super excited for the cast and crew of Guys and Dolls. Here, they're going to say the pledge and a uh, little highlight, little little preview to the play tonight. So we're going to turn it over to our group here. Uh, we're going to start with a pledge. So hands on our hearts, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, one. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. And I know you gave me the name of the song. What is it? Happy Endings. Happy endings. Here we go. Here is Happy Endings. Uh, the show is tonight at the high school, 7 o'clock. And on Saturday, 2 and 7, you can get your tickets at the door. Come on out and support these great young people, uh, as well as a shout-out to our uh, advisors, all those helpers who have uh, got our play underway. Here we go. Three, two. When you see a guy reach for stars in the sky, you can bet that he's doing it for some dog. When you spot a John waiting out in the rain, Chances are he's insane, there's only a John could be for a Jane. When you meet a gent, paying all kinds of rent, for a plus, back and flat in the Taj Mahal. All is sad, all is funny, but it's better than even money, that the guy's only doing it for some dog, some dog, some dog, the guy's only doing it for some dog. How about two claps? All right. Again, the cast and crew of Guys and Dolls, come on out and support them. Thank you so much. You guys may make your way that way. Bring the scooter out. Oh, God. Bring the scooter out. Come on up. Come on up here. Right, we're looking right here, girls. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we do want to recognize uh, our winners here for the 35th Annual Countywide Substance Abuse Prevention Poster and Essay Contest. Here with me, we have, uh, she wrote it down here, third place, Robin Rodriguez. Woo Honorable mention, uh, Linda Trujillo Castillo and Olivia, Olivia Milo, Miller Court. Sorry, Olivia. Um, but out of 1,300 students in the county, 1,300, our students earned third place and two honorable mentions. They are going to be honored Friday, May 20th uh, in the county. And uh, that's your invitation there. Uh, a shout out to Miss Penny. Uh, but girls, thanks for doing that. Thanks for showing your port pride. Um, and again, Robin Rodriguez, uh, Linda Trujillo Castillo, and Olivia, Olivia Miller Courts, uh, we appreciate you and uh, more to come, right? Yeah. Awesome. Like. High five. High five. Thank you. No high five. She let me hang. All right. Very cool. Next up, we have an announcement. Foreign Language Club, Art Club, World Language Club, Carissa Lafredo and Stephanie Smith. Come on in, girls. Come on in up close here so they can see you. Carissa Lafredo and Stephanie Smith, they do have an announcement uh, with an activity happening with Art and World Languages Club. Right there, Stephanie, look at the computer. It's okay, don't be nervous. Go ahead, Carissa, you help get her started. Basically, we have a new event coming up called the Swap Down Shop. It's going to be Friday, May 20th from 2.15 to 3.25, and it's going to be right in front of uh, middle school. Anyone want to read that part? You have a thrift store for students to shop at yeah, snacks, challenges, music, and prizes. If you have any questions, please see Miss Penny or Mr. Lawson. Um, students and staff, are, and staff are invited to bring in a few articles of clothing to donate to our clothing swap event. Check at home to see if you or anyone you live with may have any clothes to donate. The last day to donate is Friday, May 6th. All items will be used in our thrift store event. Awesome. So swap and stuff. So I can bring something to, to donate, but then I could also exchange something. Yep. Awesome. It's going to be Friday, May 20th, out front of the middle school, music, snacks, 
Swap and Shop. Art Club, World Languages Club. Awesome. This month, bam. Thank you very much, Carissa Lafredo and Stephanie Smith. Thank you, ladies. You may exit that way. All right, lots happening here on uh, Port Center today. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Uh, certainly, again, a shout out to the cast and crew, guys and dolls. Uh, looking forward. That's tonight, 7 p.m. at the high school, and Saturday, 2 and 7. Um, I do want to give a shout out. It was Administrative Professionals Day on Wednesday. Uh, here in the main office, Nicole Van Ben Scoten, Rebecca Bumgarner do an amazing job for us. And over in the guidance office, Pam Witowski uh, doing uh, great work there. So I just wanted to recognize them once again uh, and thank them for their efforts. A lot of in front of the scenes and also a ton of work behind the scenes. Um, so again, shout them out. Next week, is teacher there goes van teacher appreciation week so we're excited for that staff uh we do have lunch sponsored by the pta on monday and we'll get you some more information out this week or, or next week about some of the items we're going to do for you students it is staff appreciation week right teacher appreciation week so uh do the best you can show your poor pride and do the best you can Lastly, I want to give a shout out, uh, our track team uh, yesterday, our coaches, Mr. Popolo, Mr. Horowitz, uh, assisted by Mrs. Chronimus out there and any of our volunteers that helped. What a display of Port Pride. Uh, it was incredible to track me. The conditions, it was very cold and windy. But you kids, our coaches, you guys showed your Port Pride. It was incredible. Um, here's the announcement here. Congratulations to the modified track team with their amazing performance last night against Minnesota. We did win. Uh, everyone worked hard, did their best, showed their poor pride with great sportsmanship. Standout individual performances were had by Cody Kinney, Ava St. Louis, Jamir Wilson, Madison Van Osen. Practice today at the middle school until 3 o'clock. And the next meet is Monday at home against Monticello and Burke. Uh, students, it was a great display. I do want to highlight one of those things. Uh, again, all of our kids – did a great job. Cody uh, Kinney in the, in the mile, so four laps around, was hanging behind his guy. He kind of was hanging behind him, hanging behind him. And then down the stretch, he, he passed him. The red flash, it was incredible. Uh, but right afterwards, what a great display of sportsmanship. Shook his hand, celebrated with his teammates, but shook the hand of the guy he just beat and told him great job. And, and it's those glimpses of poor pride. It's those uh, things that the, the crowd and the, and the fans all cheered him on as he passed the kid. It was, it was really great. So uh, Cody team and, and coaches, thank you for a great day. No birthdays today. Um, there is a home baseball game today. That's five 15 um, for our home baseball boys. All right. Hands to self hoods down. It is a port pride Friday. It's an a day. Everybody have a great day. Say it with me. Go pour. Thanks, everybody.